this Paris-Roubaix briefing. Do I really need to talk about the profile? I think everybody... Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to one of the main events of the cycling season, the mythical Paris-Roubaix. With its flat terrain and numerous cobbled sectors, this classic offers an atypical route where a rider's condition is as important as luck if he is to hope for victory. As every year, there's likely to be a fierce battle to join the morning breakaway. Indeed, given the vagaries created by the cobblestones, it's not uncommon to see the morning breakaway hold off the favourites for the best part of the race, and sometimes even fight for the podium places. Attempt at a counter-attack. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. It is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. The first 100 kilometers are of little interest, and they're often used as an observation ground by the favorites in order to see which team will take the race in hand. Puncture! Puncture! No, just kidding. It was to wake up the mechanic. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. And we're off. The riders are onto the first sector, number 28, from Traville to Inchi. 2,200 meters of cobblestones. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer.
sectors are numbered in decreasing order. The last sector bears the number one. The sectors are classified according to a system of stars and colors. The most difficult to cross are rated as five stars and are recognizable by the black markers that designate the entry. is on to the first four-star sector, more than 3,400 metres long and ending in the rising falls flat. Some riders could already be in difficulty. The breakaway is losing ground. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. A teammate is beginning to lose touch. Watch out. You're not going to be able to keep up this pace for very long. You risk a blow up. A new sector. Number 25, also quite long with its 3,000 metres of cobblestone. Here we go again. From Vertin to saint martin sur a 2,300-metre sector is awaiting the riders. The next sector is approaching for the front of the race. This is the first in a sequence of three sectors that will come one straight up to the other, making for almost six kilometres of road without tarmac. Flat stages. Little wonder that they're not shown in their entirety on TV. In less than 10 kilometers, the first riders will be on to the Trench of Arenberg, first key sector for the favorites of this Paris-Roubaix. But beforehand, they will have to cross the demanding Havelouis to Wallers sector, classified as four stars. The next sector, from Wallers to Elem, also known as the Pont Gibus, in honor of twice Paris-Roubaix winner Gilbert duclos Lassalle, is 1,600 meters long and is classified as difficulty level three out of five. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Last time checked with a breakaway, one minute. I'll consume a feed. The riders are all back together. Everything will be played out in the final kilometers. The front of the race is now entering the second feed zone. Then it will be the Beuvry La Forêt to Orchi sector that awaits the riders. It's now the turn of the Orchi sector to welcome the riders. 1,700 meters of cobblestone. is decreasing, guys. The peloton should be there for the stage win. 
The race is entering the final 50 kilometers, and the next sector is none other than Mont Pevel. Classified as a difficulty five and three kilometers long, this sector is often described as an ordeal. When it's over, some riders will certainly be eliminated from the list of prospective winners. A two-star sector is now on the menu. The difficulty of the sectors will then increase until the Carrefour de l'Arbe. The next two sectors, classified as three stars, are only one kilometer apart. The riders won't have time for a breather. He's got his teammates riding because in front there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standings. He's got his teammates riding because a rider who's dangerous for the stage victory has broken away. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. The riders are now heading towards the Confin Pivel and Carrefour de Labre sectors, both often proving decisive for final victory. The front of the race is now entering the Confin en Pivel sector. The riders will then head straight onto the Carrefour de l'Arbre, the final five-star sector in the race. Now it's the Carrefour de l'Arbre, with its five-star difficulty. This is the last sector that really provides a chance to hurt one's opponents. Very often, the first rider out of this sector goes on to win in Roubaix. He's a rider who can put in a long day's ride. He has no real strengths or weaknesses, except the mountains. An ultimate sector for the leading riders. Watch out! You're not going to be able to keep up this pace for very long. You risk a blow up. Come on, guys, catch him! He's a danger for the stage win. He's accelerating. He's got his teammates riding because in front there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standings. He's accelerating. Watch out, he's trying to get away on a counter-attack. Here's the last sector, 1,400 meters from Willems to Hem. When it's done, there will only be six kilometers left before reaching the velodrome.
Watch out, he's trying to catch up the sprinters. kilometers. Get ready to sprint. We need to score points for the green jersey. The race leaders are into the velodrome. Victory will come down to a sprint. One more lap and it's the finish. He has managed to tame the... The podium is good, but I was expecting more from you. We should have won.